We are here today to show you the assembly process of the Larkin 4-in-1 crib. On the box, locate the hardware blister pack. It should be secured in a place and identified by a red ribbon ran to a red hardware tag on the outside of the box. This is to help you locate the hardware easily. Remove all parts and hardware from the box and lay out on a clear, carpeted, or scratch-free work surface as this will avoid damaging parts during assembly. The shipping box provides an ideal work surface. Please keep all of the inner pack until after the crib is completely assembled to make sure nothing is overlooked in the packaging. The hardware pack labeled one of two will be used to assemble the crib. The hardware pack labeled two of two and the wood panels will be used for the full headboard conversion. Do not open the hardware pack labeled 2 of 2 as this is to be used for the full headboard conversion. First, you will identify the crib base, also known as mattress support. On it, you will see an envelope. Open it and take the assembly instructions from it. Read the entire instructions prior to assembling the crib to ensure you are familiar with all the steps in this assembly process. For your safety and ease, assembly by two or more adults is recommended. Use the parts and hardware lists provided in the assembly instructions in conjunction with the illustrations in each step to ensure the Larkin 4-in-1 crib will be assembled correctly. Step 1. Assemble the front gate, part 2, to the left crib end, part 3, and the right crib end, part four. Insert bolts E at the top of each end panel. Insert bolt E with half moon metal block B at the bottom of each end panel. Secure all bolts with an Allen key. Do not fully tighten bolts at this point to make installation of the mattress base and crib front easier. The molding on the crib ends should face outwards. Step two, look in at the interior of the crib and notice the holes on the crib ends. These determine the height of the crib base. The age of the child determines at which height to install the crib base. It should be installed at the highest level when the child is a newborn, and it must be at the lowest level before the child can stand up. Ask the customer at which height they want it installed. Find the mattress base part five. Ensure the assembly instruction envelope is located on the top of the mattress base. Turn all brackets upright. Carefully place the mattress base into the crib, taking care not to scratch the finish. Attach the mattress base to the left crib and right crib end, parts three and four, using the short bolts D and Allen key.
Do not fully tighten the short bolts at this point to make installation of the crib headboard easier. Step 3. Attach the crib headboard 1 to left crib end and right crib end, parts 3 and 4, using 4 bolts, C, with the Allen key. Make sure to use the bottom hole near the feet of the crib on the lower end of the post. The molding on the crib headboard should face toward the inside of the crib. Tighten all connections at this time. Step 4. If needed, you can loosen or tighten the adjustable levelers on the bottom of the feet until the crib rests evenly on the floor. Step 5. Place the assembly instructions back into the envelope on the crib base and close it. Locate the extra hardware that should be given to the customer at the time of delivery. This hardware pack is to be used for the full headboard or bed conversion only. Now the assembly of the crib is complete.